Hi guys, so today we're going to be making our lanyard keychains. Um, and now to start, I'm taking my two pieces of the three millimeter braided cord, my keychain. You can use any keychain that you have. It doesn't have to be um, one of these tiny ones exactly. And I'm, I folded it in half and I'm taking the center points and I'm gonna sneak it through here. until we have that little loop coming out of the other side. And then I'm gonna take those long ones, the end cords, and I'm just gonna pull it right through. So this is the Lark's head knot. Pull it up. And now so that I can demonstrate everything properly, I'm just going to tape mine down into place. There we go. And now we're going to be making square knots, but we want to leave about three quarters of an inch to one inch um, of space up here where there's gonna be no knots. So an easy way to do that, you can use um, a clip. You can clip it under your clipboard, but however you need to, I'm just gonna tape mine exactly there so that our square knots are gonna start right there instead. Okay, so now we're gonna start with our square knots and I have the two end cords out to the side. The center two, we're not gonna be knotting with, we're gonna be knotting over these two. So we're gonna take that left hand cord, place it over top of the center two. We're gonna take the right hand cord and we'll go over top that one, behind the center two and through that loop. So that is half the square knot. And to finish it off, we're going to do the same from the opposite side. So we're going to do a reverse figure four this time. Um, and then we're going to take our left hand cord over that one behind those two. And we're going to pull it up through that loop. And that makes one square knot. So now we're just going to continue on down. Uh, using just square knots until we hit the center point. So in total here, we're going to make 47 square knots. Okay, so now I've done all 47 of the square knots. You can see. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to once more just move it up this time and I'm going to tape it in place. So after 47 square knots, this is going to be the center point. So the point that is behind your neck when you're wearing this around your neck. And what we're going to do is we have to do one switch knot here. This is going to allow it to bend easier and um, so that we don't run out of cords while we're making the next round of square knots. So we're going to take these outer two and we're just going to switch places with the inner two. Okay, I'm going to do that one more time. So these used to be our knotting cords and now we're going to switch them so that they are the inner cords and what was previously the center cords is now going to be our knotting cords. And now we're just going to continue and we're going to do the same as up there. And we're going to make um, another 47 square knots. So you can see how that little guy looks. And you can tighten it up if you want so it's less noticeable. And now we're just going to finish off that square knot we just made. Okay, 
Okay, so now we've done all of our knots. We have that one switch knot there to fold it in half. We're gonna make sure that both sides line up nicely. And now to make this next part um, just a little bit easier, I like to just match up these very last two square knots here. I'm just gonna join it together just so we don't have to be so cautious about holding it in place. And now we're just gonna move those cords out of the way. And because I'm using such a small keychain, I'm just gonna push these through one by one. Okay, so now you can see I've placed all of those through the keychain. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to flip it over to this side and just place it over top of those four. Like so. And now this is gonna be the back of where we're gonna make the gathering knot because we are gonna trim those off afterwards. Now I'm just gonna take, I believe this is about 14 inches. I'm gonna make a loop like so. And I'm going to place it over top of those four. We have that little one there. We have a little loop hanging out there. I'm gonna hold that into place. And then with the longer part of the cord, we're just gonna start to wrap it around. So now that I've filled in that space, I'm going to take the end of the cord that we were just tying with and we're going to place it through this little loop. Pull it through so that it's nice and taut. And now with this one, I'm just going to pull it up so that that one's hidden. And now we're going to trim that down nice and short. Give this one another tug just to make sure it's nice and secure and trim it off. 